Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 10.13 from Sadiku book. So the question is determine Px. Px is here in the circuit of figure using any method of your choice. I think I will use nodal analysis because we have voltage here so we can directly calculate from that without using Ohm's law. So let's use this as our ground so this one i will name this as node a and this one here as node b and i, I can assume the direction of the current so this one this one that one this one and that one. okay and all the components is already in plasor so we can just directly calculate so let's just do that kcl at node a SL at node A, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Here, the only current that goes in is this one, and that current is 40 angle 30 degrees minus VA divided by minus J2, minus J2, okay? And then all the other currents is going out. So I will have equal sign here and Va over 3. So I will have Va over 3. And then plus Va minus Vb divided by 8 plus J6. 8 plus J6. Okay. Now let's do some simplification here. So I will have 40 angle 30 degrees. And... This is divided by minus J2. So I'll have this one. And then plus Pa over J2. Maybe I want to move this to the left hand side. So I'll have minus Pa over 3. And then also I will have minus Pa divided by 8 plus J6. And then plus pb divided by 8 plus j6 all of that will equal to zero or i can have this one one over j2 minus one over three minus one over eight plus j6 and that will be multiplied by Va. Then for Vb, I will have 1 over 8 plus J6 multiplied by Vb. And that will equal to this one here. I will have 40 angle 30 degrees divided by J. Yeah, I think this will be our equation number one. Okay, now let's do another KCL here. Let's do KCL at node B. KCL at node B and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in, no, there are two currents that goes in, this one and that one. Maybe this one first, 5 angle 0 or we can just write it as 5. So I'll have 5. And then plus this one here, I will have Pa minus Vb divided by 8 plus J6. And then that will equal to Vb divided by 10. Okay. And we can rewrite this as 5 is equal to... Okay, I will have minus 1 over 8 plus J6 of Pa. And then plus this one here, 1 over 10. And then plus 1 over 8 plus J6. And multiplied by Vb. Okay. Maybe I want to put 5 to the right hand side. So we'll have minus 1 over 8 plus J6 Pa. 
plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 8 plus J6 PB and that will equal to 5. This is our equation number 2 and as usual we need to name all the coefficient as A, B and then this one C, this one as D and this one as E and this one will be here as F. So solving this equation is the same as solving this matrix here A, B, C, D and then multiplied by V, A and V, B V, A and V, B and then that will equal to E and F. Okay. But remember that we are asked about Vx and Vx is equal to Va. So we can just calculate Va. So Vx is equal to Va and Va is by using Kramer's method. We can calculate Va by here. So I will have Ed minus Bf. Okay. Ed minus Bf divided by AD minus BC. Okay, let's input ABC until F to calculator and calculate this value here. Okay, let's open up our calculator, reset and set it up as complex number calculator. And for A, I will have 1 over 2I, then minus 1 over 3. 1 over 3 and then minus 1 over 8 plus 6 i okay shift store and a okay and then for b i will have 1 over 8 plus 6 i okay let's store this as b and this one for t angle 30 divided by 2i let's store this as e okay and for c i will have that one minus minus 1 over 8 plus 6i okay shift store as c and then for d F1 over 10 plus 1 over 8 plus 6 i zip store d and then for f i will have 5 okay 5 zip store as f and now to calculate px or pa we can just input ED, okay, ED minus PF divided by AD minus BC. Okay, let's calculate this, but this is still in Cartesian coordinate. We need to convert it into polar. So let's do that. And I will have this one. I will have Vx is equal to 29.36. And the face will be 62.88. 62.88. Here is degree and the unit here will be 4. So I think that is our final answer here. Px that is asked by the so hopefully I did not make any mistakes in my calculation because this is very complicated and it's prone to any mistake so let me know if I made any mistakes comment below if you found my mistake and see you in the next video bye bye